Hi, in this section we'll be building a chair. Now, uh, I'm using the grease pencil geometric tools. Uh, I'm outlining the chair profile. I'm using the line tool right now. And then uh, I switch the curve and to the back side of the chair, adjust the curvature. And back to the. Let's draw another curve for the bottom part. Adjust that also. Now th these will be the outlines of the shape, which I will use the carved material and fill it in later. And this is when I realized that I've been using carved material all along. So I select all the strokes and switch them to sketch lines. And then uh, pick the carved material and fill the areas. Press K and you have a 3D geometry. The default extrusion is just about right, so I kept it. Uh, using the array tool, uh, I duplicated the one side uh, to create the other side. I could have used the mirror tool too if you're using a later version of Sketch and Carve. For the stroke placement, I switched to the 3D cursor mode and uh, clicked on top of the chair. And now let's uh, using the single stroke line tool, let's create the backside. Uh, turn off the array uh, and adjust the width and height of the line and slide it down a bit and uh, angle it just the uh, correct angle and uh, sometimes you have to tweak it a bit but uh, that looks just about right and uh, yeah uh, turn on the smart switch if you don't need to boolean everything together and that way the these separate parts will be joined instead of boolean, giving you an extra flexibility later on to separate them and uh, manipulate them further. Now using the rectangle tool I just created the seat area and uh, also adjust the extrusion depth and that just about looks right, maybe a little longer. Okay, and there's the chair. 